Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to look at something that is really out of the sci-fi world. It's insane, but it could revolutionize cities. In fact, I think it will. I think this insane device that Elon Musk tried to kind of come up with, and he, he had this idea in his head, he failed to actually make it work. But I think that this insane device is going to work. And in fact, a company in China are about to make it happen. Imagine zipping from New York to Los Angeles in 45 minutes, not in an airplane, but simply in a capsule. Faster than a plane, more efficient than a train, and with zero emissions. Now, this could be the future, and it actually is very, very possible. It sounds impossible though, right? I mean, Elon Musk's idea of Hyperloop, his promises, yeah, it didn't quite work out. His vision for it, in fact, stalled many years ago. But now China is taking the lead with a groundbreaking approach. What's the deal with China's Hyperloop project? How does it work? And could it actually become a reality? Well, let's have a look. First things first, what is the Hyperloop? Picture this, sleek pods shooting through giant tubes at speeds of around 600 miles per hour. That's 1,000 kilometers. These pods float on magnetic levitation or maglev, which means no wheels, no friction, just smooth, ultra-fast travel. Many people have said that this idea would never work. It was an engineering impossibility, but it turns out they were wrong. The tubes are kept at near vacuum pressure to eliminate air resistance, letting the pods glide effortlessly. Now, the idea, guys, is to actually create a fifth mode of transportation that's significantly cheaper and faster than airplanes, much cheaper than high-speed rail, and way more sustainable. It's like something out of the Jetsons, but with a serious shot at becoming real. And when I say much cheaper than a high-speed rail, if you have a look at the cost of what the high-speed rail is, is just to build from San Francisco to Los Angeles, we're talking billions and billions and billions of dollars. This would be much, much cheaper. You might be thinking, uh, didn't Elon Musk actually try this and fail? He did. That was back in 2013. In fact, Musk dropped a white paper that blew everyone's minds at the time. He proposed a Hyperloop system that could move passengers from San Francisco to Los Angeles in 35 minutes at speeds of 760 miles an hour. It was bold, it was exciting, and it sparked a race to make it happen from other companies. Musk Hyperloop, though, it hit a wall. Actually, lots of walls. The challenges were massive. First, maintaining a near vacuum over hundreds of miles is extremely difficult. Even tiny leaks could cause major problems at those speeds. Then there's the heat. Moving that fast generates lots and lots of heat. And managing that in a seated tube is no joke. Plus, the cost of building those giant steel tubes was astronomical. Despite the hype, Musk's Hyperloop companies struggled to crack these problems and the project was shelved. It seemed like the, the dream was all but dead. But guess what? China didn't get that memo. In 2024, Chinese engineers unveiled a two-kilometer test line in Shaanxi province. They're not just copying Musk's playbook, they're rewriting it. While Musk's design relied on huge, expensive steel tubes, China's team went modular. They're using steel concrete tubes that are cheaper, easier to build, and way more scalable. Think of it like building with high-tech Legos. Each piece is prefabricated and snaps together, cutting costs by up to 80%. That's, and that's just the start. China's Hyperloop is packed with innovations that tackle the problems Musk couldn't solve. For example, they're using basalt fiber concrete and glass fiber reinforcements to make the tubes super durable in near vacuum conditions. No warping, no cracking, just solid, reliable infrastructure. They've got AI-driven systems with laser-guided sensors and magnetic dampers to keep everything stable, even at mind-bending speeds. Oh, and what about safety? Well, yeah, they've thought of that too, with emergency airlocks and pressure-resistant cabins for passengers. It's like they took Musk's blueprint, found all the weak spots and said, 
yeah, we can do better. So what if this actually works? Could it change the world? Could it change transportation? I think it actually could. Let's talk about impact. First off, travel times would shrink like crazy. A trip from Beijing to Shanghai, normally a five-hour train ride, could take around 30 minutes. That's game-changing for business, tourism, and even daily commutes. I mean, guys, really, if you wanted to live out in the back of nowhere, as long as you weren't too far from a Hyperloop tube, you could get to work really quickly. And because it's electric and powered by magnets or maglev, it's way greener than planes or cars. We're talking literally zero emissions, which is huge for fighting climate change. But it's not just about speed and sustainability. China's modular approach could make Hyperloop affordable enough to actually build all the way across the globe. Guys, imagine a world where cities are connected by these tubes, slashing travel times and boosting economies. It could be the next big leap in transportation. I mean, this could revolutionize everything. It could be like the railroads of the 1860s or the highways of the 20th century. Who knows? Of course, there's still some decent hurdles to overcome. Thermal expansion over long distances due to the immense heat, it's a beast. Tubes expand and contract with temperature changes, which could mess with the vacuum. And emergency systems need to be flawless because let's face it, a glitch at 620 miles an hour, that's no joke. Plus, the cost to go commercial is still in the hundreds of billions of dollars. But the cost will come down. China's already shown they're not afraid of big projects. Just look at their high-speed rail network, which is the largest in the world. Here's the million-dollar question, though. Can China pull this off? Well, they've already got a two-kilometer test track, and they're actually planning to scale it up. They're leveraging their experience from building the world's fastest trains and using cutting-edge technology like artificial intelligence and even advanced materials to make it happen. It's not a done deal, but it's the closest anyone's ever come to making Hyperloop a reality. Let's not forget, Musk's Hyperloop might have stalled, but it inspired a global race. Now China's taking the baton, and they're actually running with it. Whether the test line turns into a full-blown commercial system remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, the dream of ultra-fast sustainable travel is alive and kicking. So guys, what do you think? Is China's Hyperloop the future of transportation, or could it be? Or is it just another ambitious project that's going to fizzle out, just another fad that's not actually going to turn out to be real? Could we see a world where we zip between cities in minutes instead of hours? I personally have had this dream so many times in my head. I don't know if it's from the Jetsons or something else, but I had this dream as a kid, and I must have had it at least 50 times where I was using what was like a tube to go from one place to another in what felt like a Hyperloop system. And I remember getting lost in these tunnels and starting to freak out, thinking I'm stuck in this tunnel, I'm, I'm in the Hyperloop. It wasn't called Hyperloop in my mind back then, but you know the idea. And I remember it freaking me out a little bit, but I had this dream so many times and I actually ended up turning into a positive dream, not getting, not getting lost, but it taking me to all these places I wanted to go. I don't know how that happened, but it's the main dream I had as a child. But have you had any similar dreams? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.